Here's how to create absolute references in our formulas. If I create a formula to calculate the tax, I'm going to multiply the amount in this column by the tax rate in this cell. At this point, this is a relative reference. So when I copy this formula down, the referenced ranges will move along with the formula. That means the formula will always refer to the value one cell to the left and two cells above its position. Now let's press escape to exit the editing mode. Let's undo that and take a different approach. What we actually need is an absolute reference for our tax value, and we can easily set that up. Let's go ahead and recreate our formula by multiplying the amount by the tax rate. To turn cell C2 into an absolute reference, we just need to press F4 on the keyboard. When we do that, Excel automatically adds dollar signs to the reference. These dollar signs indicate that both the column and row are fixed, meaning they won't change when we copy the formula to other cells. If we press F4 again, Excel changes it to a mixed reference, where column C remains relative while row 2 stays absolute. Pressing F4 one more time reverses this, making column C absolute while row 2 remains relative. Pressing F4 again returns us to a completely relative reference. So that's how we use F4 to toggle between different types of references. Now, when we copy our formula down, we can see that the absolute reference remains unchanged, ensuring that our tax rate is always referenced correctly. The same method applies when referencing entire ranges. Let's create a formula that refers to a specific range of cells. Once again, pressing F4 will cycle through the available options for absolute and relative references. And when we copy the formula across different cells, we can see that our referenced range remains locked as intended. So that's how you can use F4 to quickly switch between relative and absolute references in Excel formulas.